in this video we are going to discuss about single source shortest path algorithm uh, here in order to solve this problem uh, we are using an algorithm called diskestra algorithm uh, let us see what is the aim of this algorithm let us assume that we have a graph called g is equal to v comma e we know v means uh, set of vertices e means set of edges let the graph is a directed weighted graph let this graph is a directed weighted graph so we know what is directed graph directed graph means there should be some directions from source to destination if you observe here so there should be a direction from 1 to 2 so here we have an edge every edge associates it associated with some direction some arrows if you observe here from 1 to 6 we have an edge with some direction so this is called as directed graph and weighted graph weighted graph means the corresponding edge associated with weight or cast so here uh, from 1 to 2 we have an edge so what is the weight of this edge 10 so this is called as weight or cast so from 1 to 6 we have an edge so the cast or weight of this edge is what 30 uh, let us see what is the aim of this algorithm uh, the name itself specifies the meaning uh, single source so that means we have to select one vertex as source vertex so in the examination they may give source vertex or we can assume one of the vertex as the source vertex a shortest path algorithm so that means we have to select one vertex as source and we need to find out the shortest path from source vertex to remaining all the vertices of the graph so if we consider this problem let us assume that the vertex one is the source vertex so we have to find out the shortest path from one vertex to remaining all the vertices in the graph so from 1 to 2 we need to find out the shortest distance from 1 to 6 what is the shortest distance from 1 to 3 shortest distance or shortest path okay so likewise we need to find out okay so this algorithm is called as what diskestra algorithm so this is the main aim of this algorithm so let us solve this problem so that we can get uh, the perfect clarity uh, here the first column represent selected vertex okay so out of all these vertices uh, we have to select one vertex as the source vertex uh, so that we need to write here next column represent visited set visited set so it contains the set of all vertices that have been already visited so what are the vertices that are already visited so those vertices are placed in visited set next d of t represents the distance from uh, source vertex 1 to 2 d of 3 represents the distance from source vertex 1 to 3 so d of 4 means uh, distance of 4 uh, distance of 5, distance of 6, distance of 7. So, this distance can also be called as cast or weight. Okay. Uh, initially, let us assume that first vertex is the selected vertex. Okay. So, here we are assuming the first vertex is the first vertex as the source vertex. It is our choice. We can assume here we have 7 vertices are there from 1 to 7. We can assume one of these 7 vertices as the source vertex. It is our choice. But here I am assuming the first vertex as the uh, source vertex. If you want, you can uh, assume uh, remaining vertices also as the source vertex. Uh, next, visited set. Okay. So, till now we have visited only the first vertex. Uh, so, this is a set. We know what is a set. So, set means a collection of elements which are enclosed in the curly brace. So, till now we have visited only the first vertex. Next. Uh, so next we have to explore the adjacent vertices of 1. So let us check what are the adjacent vertices of 1. So we have two adjacent vertices of 1 are there. The first one is 2, the second one is 6. So from 1 to 2, the distance is 10. So from 1 to 2, the distance is 10. Next from 1 to 6, the distance is 30. So these two are the 2 and 6 are the adjacent vertices of uh, the adjacent vertices of 1 okay uh, next from 1 to 3 there is no edge is there from 1 to 4 no edge is there from 1 to 5 there is no edge is there 
if there is no edge from source vertex to that vertex that destination vertex then we have to assume it has infinity infinity so the distance of 3 is infinity cast of 4 is infinity cast of 5 is infinity so cast of 7 is infinity okay next we have to select one of these vertices as the uh, next vertex okay out of 10 30 infinity so which is the shorter value which is the minimum value so out of 10 30 infinity so 10 is the minimum value so the next vertex will be will be so 10 is nothing but the cast of second vertex the cast of second vertex okay so the next vertex should be 2 only okay why because out of 10 30 and infinity so 10 is the minimum value so the minimum value that cast that minimum value vertex should becomes the next vertex so we have to assume this second vertex as the next vertex so let us assume second vertex as the next vertex now visited set contains so set of vertices that have been already visited so already one is visited as well as two is visited so one comma two one comma two here already the cost of two is calculated so let us uh, uh, note as it is so next we have to explore the adjacent vertices of two we have to explore the adjacent vertices of two so what are the adjacent vertices of two so we have only one vertex is there that is three so from 2 to 3, what is the cast? 20. From 2 to 3, the cast is 20. But in this problem, what is our target? We have to find out the shortest distance from source vertex to remaining all other vertices in the graph. So we need to find out the cast from 1 to 3. But from 1 to 3, no direct is available. So from 1, we can go to 3 from 1 only via 2 only. So here the cast of 1 to 2 is, the cast of 2 is already calculated. What is the cast of 2? 10. So 10 plus, 10 plus, so 2 to 3, 2 to 3. What is the cast? 10 plus 20 means 30, 30. So from, so here the cast is 30. Why? Because here what is the vertex? 2 is the vertex. So via the vertex 2, uh, we are going to 3 vertex. So what, already the cast of 2 is calculated. What is the cast of 2? 10. So cast of 2 is 10. So 10 plus, what is the cast from 2 to 3? 20. So 10 plus 20 means 30. So 30 will becomes the cast of 3. Okay. Next, there are no other vertices. There are no other edges are there from 2 from two to remaining all vertices. Okay. So if there is no edge from source vertex to destination vertex, then we have to assume that cast has infinity. So here the cast is infinity, here the cast is infinity. So here already we have a cast called 30. So write as it is, so 30, infinity, infinity, okay. Uh, next, we have to assume one of the vertex as the short vertex. Uh, so in order to select a particular vertex, what we have to do? We have to find out the minimum distance. So here we have 30, infinity, 30. So 30, 30, these two are equal only. But third vertex occurred first, okay. So we have to issue this vertex as the, the this vertex as the next vertex. So what is 30? 30 is nothing but the cost of 3. 30 is nothing but the cost of 3. So the next selected vertex is 3. 3. So what are the vertices that have been visited? So already 1, 2 are visited. Now we are visiting 3. So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Here the cast of 2 is already calculated. So that means the shortest distance from 1 to 2 is 10. Next, the cast of 3 is already calculated. So that means the shortest distance from 1 to 3 is 30. So if we write within the circle, so it specifies that the distance was already calculated. Okay. So what is the selected vertex now? 3. So now we have to explore 3. So what are the adjacent vertices of 3? What are the adjacent vertices of 3? So we have two vertices are there. So from 3 to 4, we have an edge uh, with the cast 15. From 3 to 5, we have an edge with the cast 5. Already the cast of 3 was already calculated. What is the cast of 3? 30. What is the cast of 3? 30. So here we have to find out the cast from 1 to 4 as well as the cast from 1 to 5. So first let us write down 
write down the cost for, for 1 to 4. So what is the cost of 3? 30. So 30 plus 15. So 30 plus 15 means 45. So 45 is nothing but cost of 4. Okay. Next, 3 to 5. The cost is 5. Already the cost from 1 to 3 is already calculated. That cost is 30. So 30 plus 5 means 35. So the cost of uh, fifth vertex is what? 35. Uh, next, we don't have uh, any other edges. So write the remaining edges, uh, the remaining cost as it is. So 30 infinity. So 30. Uh, so from 3 to 4, we have an edge. From 3 to 5, we have an edge. No other edges are there. So 30 infinity. So now we have to select the next vertex. So what are the cost here? 45, 35, 30, infinity. So out of these four values, which is the minimum value? 30 is the minimum value. So 30 is the minimum value. So 30 is nothing but the cost of 6. So the next vertex will become 6. The next vertex will become 6. So what are the vertices that have been visited now? So previously we have visited 1, 2, 3. Now we are visiting 6. So 1, 2, 3, 6. So cost of 2 is already calculated. Cost of 3 is already calculated. Next, cost of 6 is already calculated. Okay. So, 2, 3, 6 is already calculated. Now, we have to explore 6. What are the adjacent vertices of 6? What are the adjacent vertices of 6? So, we have only one vertex is there. That is, well, the cost of 6 to 7 is what? 35. The cost of 6 to 7 is 35. Already, the cost of 6 is calculated. What is the cost of 6? 30. So 30 plus 35 means 65. So we can say that now the cost of 1 to 7 is 65. Okay. Why? Because cost of 6 is 30. Cost of 6 is 30. So 30 plus 35. It is nothing but 65. 65. Next, no other is edge is there. So simply we have to assume the previous values. So write the previous values as it is. So 45, 35. So 45, 35. Okay. Uh, next, out of 45, 35, 65, which is the minimum value? 35 is the minimum value. So we have to assume 35 cast vertex as the next vertex. So what is the 35 cast? Fifth node cast, fifth vertex cast. So the next vertex is 5. So the nodes that are visited are 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 6, 5. Next, cast of 2 is already calculated. Cast of 3 is already calculated. Cost of 5 is already calculated. Cost of 6 is already calculated. Okay. Now we have to explore vertex 5. So what are the adjacent vertices of 5? What are the adjacent vertices of 5? So we have only one vertex is there. That is 7. From 5 to 7, the cost is 7. From 5 to 7, the cost is 7. But here we have to find out the shortest distance from 1 to 7. Okay. From 1 to 5. The cost is already the cost of 5 is calculated. What is the cost of 5? 35. So 5 to 7 cost is 7. So 35 plus 7 means 42. 42. Now we in place of 65 we have to write what? 42. Why? Because the cost of 5 is 35. So 35 plus 7 means 42. Okay. Next no other edge is there. So we have to assume simply the previous values. Out of 45 and 42 which is the minimum value? 42 is the minimum value. So we have to assume this vertex as the next vertex. So 42 is nothing but the cost of vertex 7. So let the next vertex is 7. So the visited set is 1, 2, 3. So 6, 5, 7. 6, 5, 7. So cost of 2 is already calculated. Cost of 3 already calculated. So 35 already calculated. 30 already calculated. 42 already calculated. What is the vertex now? 7. 7. Now we have to explore 7. Now we have to explore 7. What are the adjacent vertices of 7? What are the adjacent vertices of... Uh, uh, what are the adjacent vertices of 7? What are the adjacent vertices of 7? Uh, no other vertex is there. So simply we have to assume previous values only. Okay. Why? Because from 7, uh, no other vertex, no other edge is there. Okay. From 6 to 7, we have an edge. 4 to 7, we have an edge. 5 to 7, we have an edge. But from 7, we don't have any other edges there. So we have to write uh, the previous values. Okay. So we have only one value. That is 4. So the, let, let the so this vertex will become the next vertex. Okay. So what is the visited set now? 1, 2, 3, 6, 5, 7, 4. Okay. So 10, 30, 
45, 35, 30, 42. So here, so source vertex is 1. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So what is the cast from 1 to 2? The cast, the minimum cast, the shortest cast from 1 to 2 is 10. From 1 to 3 is 30. From 1 to 4 is 45. From 1 to 5 is 35. From 1 to 6 is 30. From 1 to 7 is from 1 to 7 is 42. Okay. Uh, in this way, we can find out uh, uh, we can find out the shortest path from source vertex to remaining all other vertices by using single source shortest path algorithm or disgestra algorithm. In the next video, we will solve uh, one more example. Still, if you have any doubts, then please refer to my next video. Thank you.